a flywheel rotates with an angular speed of 25 revolutions per second as it is brought to rest with a constant acceleration it turns 50 revolutions what is what is the magnitude of angular acceleration how much time does it take to stop so in the first step we can collect the information from the equation and what are given here look at here 25 revolutions this is angular speed right brought it to rest that is finally it, it comes to the rest that means final angular uh, uh, velocity which is omega is equal to zero revolutions per second and initial uh, angular velocity omega naught is equal to 25 revolutions per second okay so these are given informations and uh, another thing we have given is number of tones which are uh, 50 revolutions so this is not 25 this is 50 revolutions okay so these are given look at here 50 tones 50 revolutions okay so what are the target variables in this equation in the first part a what is the magnitude of angular acceleration that is asking alpha so alpha is equal to what here and in the second part how much time does it take to stop that means the time is equal to what okay so these are two target variables that we have to calculate in this problem so writing relevant equation is the second step to solve the problem so what what will be the relevant equation based on the given situation given information we have to choose the right equation otherwise we cannot solve it okay so first equation for the first part part a we have to get alpha which is the angular acceleration so omega square is equal to omega naught square plus 2 alpha theta this is equivalent to v square equal to v naught square plus 2 uh, ax right this is one of the equation in kinematic equation so uh, from here you can calculate alpha because you know omega naught you know omega and uh, you also know theta all the information other than alpha are given so you can calculate this alpha from this equation okay so this is the first equation for part part one that is a first part okay so what is the relevant equation for second part that is calculating time to calculate time we uh, uh, we have omega naught in the problem we have omega and omega naught alpha we get it from the previous uh, part one and we can easily find a t okay so the easiest part is doing mathematics for the part first we can write it down and insert all the given values where omega final angular velocity is zero initial angular velocity is 25 revolutions per second and then two alpha is the unknown quantity that is the target variable for this question and uh, uh, theta is 50 revolutions we can insert all these values okay after calculating alpha rearranging this equation uh, 25 square right uh, revolution will be cancelled with revolution one revolution just one revolution is left second square is second square here and 2 multiplied by 50 gives you 100 25 square divided by 100 which gives you uh 625 divided by 100 right so if you multi divide by 100 it will give 6.25 revolutions per second negative sign is here because there is the retarding angular acceleration in this case okay because it is coming to the rest you know initial velocity is uh there but final velocity is zero that means object is retarding angular acceleration is decreasing with time okay so this is the first part now let's go to the second part which is calculation of time t so to calculate time what is the relevant equation relevant equation is 
omega omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha t angular acceleration multiplied by time so we have all the terms so this one this one and this one this one so we have to calculate t that is the time required to stop that flywheel okay now go back go down here look at here so solving for t this equation we will get t equal to omega minus omega naught divided by alpha inserting all the value given from here where uh, omega naught is 25 omega is 0 and alpha we get it from the first part of the equation which is uh, negative 39 radian per second squared okay so insert all these value here omega naught is 0 and omega is 0 omega naught is 25 revolutions per second and this one is uh, uh, this is radian okay so let me correct it this is radian and this one also you have to convert into radian otherwise you cannot uh, get right answer so 25 to convert into radian you always have to remember one revolution is equal to 2 pi radian to convert a revolution into radian you have to multiply it by 2 pi okay if you multiply it by uh, 25 by 2 pi this is 2 pi sorry let me erase it and a 2 pi a red per second right you will get now right answer uh, which is negative sign negative sign will be cancelled we can eliminate these things so negative sign is also cancelled and what we will get is uh, radian will be cancelled with radian so i can eliminate these radians and one second will be cancelled so there will be just one second okay so this will be equal to 50 pi divided by 39 okay if you multiply it 50 by pi and divide by 39 you will get around four seconds which is the time 